good morning ladies and gentlemen our subject is about theory one theory one is about composition and influencing factors in architecture it is the subject where you can learn how to compose forms out from the natural shapes geometric shapes and even abstract shapes okay first let us define architecture paano mo define ang architecture architecture is a greek word architecton archi great tecton builder so combining two words together architecton meaning you are a great builder you are the architect architecture is the art and science of building it is conscious creation of utilitarian spaces with deliberate use of material architecture should be technically efficient and aesthetically pleasing meaning ang architecture ay kailangan efficient sustainable at maganda ang pagkagawa ng forma or ng itsura niya that means aesthetically pleasing and structures is being constructed with conformity to structural design or structural engineering So let's go on. There are other definition. May mga iba't ibang definition ng architecture pero yung pinaka short na ang pinaka shorter definition of architecture is that architecture is the science of designing a certain building. So, ito ang pinaka-introduction natin ngayon. The first lesson for our subject is the general influences of architecture. Ang pag-design ng isang gusali or isang estruktura ay may mga influensya yan. There are general influencing factors that considers your design in architecture. Ito yung mga general influences in architecture. Dahil sa ating desire for self-preservation, gagawa tayo ng bahay. Desire para mag-response yung ating mga kaibigan. Parang bibilib sila, ma-impress. So, we want response. Ma-recognize tayo malaman ng community na nag-exist ka, maganda ang bahay mo, kaya desire for recognition. And lastly, you can express your selves through design of building. How you will design the form, the form of the building and the character express fully to the one who designed it. That's why it is a desire for self-expression. However, there are also influences in nature. And nature can influence your design in architecture. Ang kalikasan, kung saan tayo. Example, ang klima, kung nasa snow tayo. Of course, yung design natin ay parang iglo kung sa snow. Maliliit lang ang bintana kung sa snow ka. Sa topography naman kung saan ka. Kung nasa tropical countries, maraming kahoy. O kung doon ka sa uh, countries na maraming bato. So, bato ang gagamitin sa construction. At sa Pilipinas naman dahil mayaman tayo sa tim- timber or kahoy. Kaya wooden houses yung ating mga bahay nung hindi pa dumating ang western influences sa Pilipinas.
ang society ay may influences din yan sa pagdesign ng architecture. Example, yung social condition. Kung nasa squatter ka, most probably ang design mo rin ay pang squatter. Pero kung nasa Forbes Park ka, doon sa mayayaba na subdivision sa Ayala, Ayab, Ayala Alabang, Of course, social condition doon ay mataas kaya ang design ng buildings probably ay magaganda at latest at mamahalin ang design. Ang man's personality here, number two, magka-reflect din yan ng design. How do you design a certain house or structure? Your personality will reflect Example dyan, kung ikaw ay introvert, hindi ka outgoing, of course, ang bahay mo rin ay hindi mo yan ipapakita ang loob. Ang design yan ay maliit ang bintana, sarado ang pinto, sarado ang bintana, tinted one-way mirror. Hindi mo ipapakita ang loob ng bahay dahil ikaw ay introvert, dahil personality mo yan. At kung extrovert ka naman, yung design mo ay see-through. Maraming glass, glass window na transparent, makita ang loob dahil ikaw ay extrovert. Kaya malaman mo sa itsura ng bahay kung ang nag-design yan ay introvert or extrovert. Man's interest, example kung sports-minded ka, ang design mo ay may halong pang sports na design. Kung ikaw naman ay artist or architect, of course, very unique yung design mo. Parang abstract yan. Ikaw lang nakakaalam kung anong design yan. Kasi artist. Yung artist ay expressive galing sa kanyang loob yung design. Galing sa kanyang heart. Okay, so continue tayo. There are functions of buildings. Merong aesthetic function. Pero pinaka-importante dyan ay paghaluin yung dalawa, yung aesthetic, yung art, yung form. Maganda ang form ng building, maganda ang kulay, pero maganda rin ang structure. Meaning, kailangan sa building ay may design ng kanyang structure. Meaning ang mga pinag-usapan dyan, yung mga steel na ginagamit, yung semento, yung mixes, kung matibay ba yan, hindi ba yan guguho pag may lindol na aabot sa 8 magnitude. Aesthetic and beauty, yan ang pinaka-heart ng architecture. Kasi parang sculpture yan. Ang architecture kasi galing yan kina Da Vinci at Michelangelo. Ang architecture nila noon is about beauty and aesthetic. Hindi ganong matibay ang paggawa kasi walang reinforced concrete during that time. Pero ang ganda ng itsura ng mga building noon sa Renaissance tulad ng yung The Parthenon, The Pantheon doon sa Italy yung St. Peter's Basilica gawa yan nila Michelangelo with collaboration ng mga architects din doon sa Italy Elements of Aesthetics Mass, Space, Proportion, Symmetry, Balance Contrast, Decoration and Massing Ito yung one example of aesthetic kung hindi natin yan nilagyan ng mga lines dito at itong mga parang pixelized design, hindi yan maganda tingnan kung sulid lang yan. Kaya may aesthetic design ang kada building na gawa ng architect. Ito ang Taj Mahal, a complete example of a good balance. Balance yan kasi sa left, Merong tower, tinatawag minarit, doon din sa likod, meron din. 
So meaning kung hatiin mo sa gitna, magkapariho yung left and right axis niya. Kaya uh, formal formal balance. Ito naman yung mga futuristic design. Meron ding functional aesthetic and psychological design. Kasi ang bahay, especially sa interior, ay may effect on human behavior. Example, yung mga mall, kailangan yan ay may psychological interior design. Yung hotel, yung restaurant, may effect yan. Ang interior design yan, ang mga kulay ay may epekto sa customers. At dito class, meron tayong example ng isang napakagandang residential house. Ito ay moderno ang style niya at minimal ang kanyang design. Okay, at meron tayong questions at the end of this video. Answer it on a piece of white band paper and compile your answers to an envelope colored brown envelope put your all compilation of answers to that brown envelope and you can submit it right here in our office in our architectural office right here in our school okay so here's the question one to six what are the six influences in architecture seven to nine three sources of forms in composition number ten Explain what is aesthetics in architecture. Okay guys, good luck and see you every weekend Friday or you can make it Saturday. If you cannot make it on Friday, you can come here in the office during Saturday and submit all your answered uh, papers right here in the office. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button for more videos that will pop up on your cell phones. Alright, thank you and see you on my next video.